joining my small picnic, Apple Bloom. It's not obvious. <laughs> Thanks for joining my small picnic, Apple Bloom. It's not often I get to hang out with any of you Casadas. It's a pleasure, Dinky. Sure is a shame Sweetie or Scootaloo couldn't join us. But I'm sure it'll still be fun with just the two of us. What did you bring over? Well, since your family works at the Apple Farm, and your first name is Apple, I thought I'd make you a special kind of snack. Snickerdoodle muffins! Um... Thank you, Dinky. They sure look delicious. Thank you! I've made them all by myself. Though, with some help from my mommy. <coughs> <coughs> what the heck? <gasps> oh, that's the last time I hold on to your back while you run. Hey, look on the bright side, Sal. At least you got that new hairstyle you've always wanted. <laughs> Nicole, are you picking up any trace of that doll anywhere? Scanning, Sally. Scanning, Sally. I still think you should replace Nicole with an Apple Watch. Why would I go with that when their security is worse than Robotnik's? Uh, Sal? Oh my gosh, they're so adorable. And we're in luck, they haven't been roboticized yet. From the looks on their faces, you think they've never seen anything like us before? Well, don't just stand there. Talk to them! Are we sure they're even the kind of animals that can talk? Who are you calling animals? <laughs> Looks like that answers your question. What are you supposed to be anyway? A giant talking porcupine? Porcupine? Heck no! I'm a hedgehog! And proud of it. Oh, brother. I'm Sonic, and this is my girlfriend, Princess Sally. You two fillies wouldn't happen to have seen a fox doll around here, would you? One with two tails and a jewel on its head? Two tails? You see, I have this friend Tails, who is a fox with, well, two tails. It's his birthday today, and we, I mean, I forgot to get him a present. So you made him a doll that looks like him? That's so sweet! Well, no. Actually, it just showed up on my doorstep this morning. At the time, I thought Sally or one of my other friends made it so I could give it to Tails, but... So to make a long story short... Too late. It went daffy and destroyed everything in sight. Yep, that's the exact look I had on my face at the time. Hmm, you know, I think I might have seen something like that pass by. You did? Where? I believe it went over there and... Oh my goodness! <laughs> that thing was meant as a present for your friend? I thought it'd be perfect for a gift for Tails. Not only is it his birthday today, but it's also the anniversary of the day we first met. I remember like it was yesterday. Ah, good times. Good times. I'm sure it's not that bad. I'll go over there and catch it myself. Apple Bloom, are you crazy? You saw what it did to Angel Bunny. Your friend's right, kid. That doll's not friendly. You might want to back away. It only harmed one little bunny. I'm sure it can't handle a big pony like me. I will devour your soul. Why can a doll be that disturbing? I blame the fan base. What can we do to stop it? Hmm, I'm not sure. It seems that we'll have to try our- <laughs> I know you're 
your skate, but Sonic needs our help! Okay, you little freak, what say you and I play a little Sonic Spinball? not knowing how to swim. <laughs> Don't worry, Sal. I got your back. Might I recommend using the new Melee software you installed in me? Go for it, Nicole. for a test run.
Pretty Pony. Are you all excited to have a party of a lifetime? Let's get things started with my party cannon! Mind if I borrow this? Thanks! <laughs> I'm back! Is that Pinkie Pie's party cannon you got there? No time for asking questions! Just fire this baby up at full power! What? Are you crazy? Just trust me! glad that you enjoyed all this, strangely, but what will you do for Tails' present now? Hmm, I think I've got the perfect idea for what to give him. Thanks for all your help, girls. Couldn't have done without you. And coming for me, that's saying a lot. No worries. We're more than happy to help. Sally, we must be going if we are to make it to Tails' party on time. Right, Nicole. We're on our way. May I? Let's juice! Maybe visiting Twilight today wasn't such a good idea. Oh well, back to the cliché high school drama for me. I wonder what's taking Sonic and Sally so long. They're never usually this late. Oh, give it some time, Tails. If I know my Sonic, he's sure to come at any moment, maybe with a bouquet or a box of chocolates for me. Uh, you do know he's dating Sally, right? I don't know what you're saying. It's Sonic! <laughs> Sonic, my bae! Well, well, well. Look who finally showed up, Mr. Fastest Thing Alive. Sorry, Tails. Things got out of hand with your present. It kind of... exploded. But I got something even better to give you. Happy birthday, Tails. You're giving me one of your power rings? Yep, it's all yours, pal. But I couldn't. I'm sure you need a lot more than I do. It's all right, Tails. You deserve it. Besides, with what we've been through together since our first meeting, our friendship is more valuable than this power ring. To me, you're more than just a friend. You're the best little brother a hedgehog could ask for. Wow. Sonic, that is both beautiful and sappy at the same time. Thank you. Aww. So adorable. Hey, Sonic. How come you didn't give me any presents for my birthday last week? Oh, how could I forget about you, Silver? Here you go! Sweet! Thanks, Sonic! Blue streak speeds by Sonic the Hedgehog Too fast for the naked eye Sonic the Hedgehog
much for that idea! If Dr. Robotnik hears about this, he'll recycle us as ink toner! This is all your fault! No, it's your fault! You... What are you supposed to be, anyway? I don't know, but I'm more useful than you are, chicken thighs! Chicken thighs?! Well, it's better to have chicken thighs than to have no brain! At least my plan to use the doll was better than your dumb plan! That large wooden badger would have been easier to handle than some demon to- Right on the little chicken giblets! <laughs> That's my mom!